Hello, uh, we'd like to look at uh, year 2011, uh, Calculus AB, the first question. Now, as you can see here, I want you to read the question just a little bit yourself, and we'll try to answer these four questions together. First, part A. Now, speed of the particle is increasing or decreasing. Now, speed of the particle will increase if the velocity and acceleration have the same sign. Now, but when they have different sign, yes, the speed will decrease. To, uh, to do this one better, I uh, would like to use the calculator since it is allowed. I, uh, I plugged in y1 as the velocity, 2 sine of e to the uh, x, I just put x in place of t, x over 4 plus 1, and then y sub 2 will be the acceleration as you can see. Now, then uh, what are, uh, we, we're trying to uh, look at the uh, velocity and acceleration. So let's try to do that. To answer that, I'm going to go for the value. and 5.5 will be the value here. So 5.5 in case of uh, y sub 1, meaning the velocity. So what I can say is, bring this one down over here. I just realized that v of 5.5 will be equal to negative 0.453 and continues. How about acceleration of 5.5? Right over here. When x equals 5.5, y happened to be y sub 2 for this expression was negative 1.3. negative 1.359. Now, since both of them has the same sign, we know that speed will increase. Speed is increasing because velocity is negative and acceleration is negative, same sign. All right, number B, find the average velocity. Now, you see we are given the velocity function and we are looking for average velocity. So what we have to do is the we have to use mean value theorem which involves the integral. So average velocity will be equal to the velocity expression from uh, 0 through 6 divided by 6 minus 0. This will be our expression. So let's try to do this one together. Once again, using the calculator. In this case, I'm only looking for velocity. So I'm just going to turn off the uh, acceleration for a second, and I'm going to graph it once again. Now, second uh, trace will get us these menus, and number seven, lower limit was equal to zero, and upper limit was six. All right, as you can see, the numerator here was equal to 11.696 uh, divided by 6. That becomes our uh, expression. Once you try to calculate this one, second put.
and then, then we're going to have 11.696 divided by 6. So it's 1.949. So, that becomes our final answer. All right, let us move on to C for a second. C here, uh, find the total distance. Notice that it's not a, a displacement, but total distance. Then, in fact, if you to examine this expression, you will notice that we have some portion right here, it becomes negative. Now, so this, we, we need to actually calculate this shaded area and also this portion too. So one way for us to do it is by finding the point of uh, x-intercept and then uh, making this negative area into positive. How are we going to do it? We can int uh, integrate this into two separate areas. Or um, if I were to uh, use another expression, what I could have done is actually I can just get, uh, I can just get the absolute value of the velocity. So for example, I can go for math number gives me the absolute value. And I can go for the VOS right here, variables basically. And y VOS, y variable functions, and y sub 1. Then what I'm doing is I'm just getting the absolute value of the first expression. Right now, Since I'm not looking for uh, displacement, but simply the distance, I will use third equation. So now, if I graph it, you will see that I shouldn't have any negative portion. You see, normally it would have been negative, now it's positive. Then what I can do is, I can get the integral from 0 to 6. That would have been our answer. So number C here would have been total distance can be found by integral from 0 to 6 of the velocity but with the absolute value dt. Then here as you can see becomes 12.573. All right, now, number D, from 0 through 6, the particle changing the direction exactly once. Changing the direction, that simply means first, pos uh, velocity has to be from positive to, positive to negative, or negative to positive. Find the position of the particle at the time. So, uh, from even, as you can see from here, that's the point which we are looking at. So what we like to do, is we like to um, go back to the calculator and then find the time first. This time we'll be looking for the uh, displacement, the velocity function is important. So we're going to turn that on. And we're going to turn off the absolute value. So now we're going to graph it. And it looks like around here. So to find that value, 0 will get us the uh, x-intercept. So left bound ha uh, has to be 1, 2, 3, 4. So it will be between about 4 to 6. I'm just going to type in 4 with the left bound. And upper bound will be 6. Right bound will be 6. Then that was the value. 
So, time is about 5.195. That's when the particle changes its direction. Now we want to find the position. Then what we want to do is we want to uh, integrate the position, in this case, I'm just going to round it up to 6. So, uh, by the using the fundamental theorem of calculus, from 0 through 5.196, for the velocity function, will get us the position. If we are to consider the position uh, function that's not given here, well, let us say our position function is equal to x of t, this will be equal to x of 5.196, the position where t was equal to this value, minus position when uh, t was equal to 0. But we know the second value. And we can calculate the left side of the equation. Therefore, we can figure out what we want. So here, I'm going to try to... Uh, Get the integral once again. Lower limit was equal to 0. Upper limit was 5.1955. Then uh, we were able to figure out the value was 12.134. Mm -hmm. Now, what we can do is this. Using that value, we should be able to figure out the uh, last. Answer here. Bring this one down. Okay. So here it goes. 12.134. Would have been equal to x position 5.196 minus 2 because 2 was the original position as you can see earlier so therefore our final answer would have been 14.135 all right and i believe that answers all the questions here thank you and have a nice day bye